Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll continue with part two of the RAM tailgate. Okay, so in the previous lesson, I set up the primary surfaces like this, which I think looks pretty good, uh, making sure that the gesture is be, uh, very similar between the top, uh, uh, from top to bottom. So now let's go ahead and actually finish it. So. I'm pretty happy with the primary surfaces. I think the amount of shadow that's uh, over here, I think is pretty good. Now, of course, uh, you can probably do a little bit more refinement and making sure that it looks closer to what you see over here. But uh, from my perspective, I think it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and actually finish it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete the construction history over here. And I do need to put a filler between these, but since there is a little bit of break between this, these two over here, I'm going to put a larger filler first because I feel like these should be a little bit more uh, soft and I'm going to go over it with the fillet over here. So let's go ahead and grab a surface filler over here. Um, right now I have it set at existing theoretical G2 quarter length of 100. So let's see if that's big enough. Okay, so I would say it probably needs to be a little bit bigger. So I think I'm just going to multiply by two and make it 200. Now, when you're doing this uh, over here, you just gotta make sure that it's the same. Uh, obviously, even if, uh, if there's a slight gap, that is okay, but I would prefer to be a little bit cleaner. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and undo this one over here. And actually, let's take a look at the side. Yeah, I think this fillet is pretty tight. So I think if I were to do a 200 over here, maybe something smaller there, I think that should be fine. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and strike a curve from here to here and here to here, making sure that they're nicely aligned. And I'm just going to go over here. I'm gonna project that, project this, delete the curves, and I'm going to trim here and I'm going to trim here. And this gap, I can fill it in with a square. So it's going to be one curvature, two, uh, three curvature. And I'm going to say one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the construction history. And now I should be able to put a fillet all the way through. But since I am, oh, actually, you know what? Uh, before I do anything, let me just make sure that this is done too. Now, because of this is just a straight to draft surface, uh, there, are there are a couple of things uh, you can do. If you wanna just make it one piece, uh, what you can do is you can just strike a curve, just make a surface and just trim it out, which I probably will do. Or if you just want to do it quickly, then you can just grab a draft tool and just grab a chain select over here like this and making sure that you actually pick the surface edge, not the curve, and just do that as well. But since I do like uh, to make things clean, and it, this should be a little bit longer as well, so I think I'm just going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strike a curve from here to here like this. Actually, you know what? Um, let's go all the way to the other side. So I'm going to say symmetry, uh, symmetry modeling on, and this time, because it's going all the way through, and it's a little bit different from here, I'm just going to do a draft over here and I'm going to go this way, all right? And I'm just going to use all of these surface edges like that, like this one over here. And I'm just going to project it from top and that's good. And now let's go ahead and I'm just going to split everything in half. So let's strike a curve, making sure that it's a grid snap to using alt. I'm going to grab everything over here and I'm just going to project it from the top. Okay, so that's good. So I'm just going to trim this one, I'm going to trim that one, trim that one, and I'm going to trim this one. And you know what, since I'm, I think I'm pretty much done with all the curves, so let's go ahead and hide them. So I'm just going to make a new layer and let's say curve, I'm going to hide it so that my work interface is a little bit cleaner. I'm going to trim this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so that looks good. And I'm going to delete the construction history, making sure that nothing becomes uh, destroyed unintentionally. Okay, so now that this is done, I can put a fillet over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a quarter length of 100 
Again, I'm using existing theoretical because everything is built to a theoretical, and there it is. So right now, uh, let's take a look. So I think that transition looks really nice. I think the highlight is actually following really nicely uh, with what you see over here. Now that said, however, I do think, uh, let's just turn the symmetry on over here. I think it might be a little bit too soft. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, if you look at this one, I would say that's a, a little bit tighter fillet. So what I'm going to do is instead of making 100, I would say maybe do 50 like this. And I think that's closer. Yeah, that's much closer. Now you'll see that there is a little bit of transition over here. Now, if you prefer to this to be a little bit softer, what you could do is in, uh, make it a little bit larger and you can adjust the uh, form factor a little bit. And that's going to give it a little bit more trans uh, space for transition between this one and this one. So if you look at this, the, the difference between this one, so I'm just going to copy and paste. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to copy and paste this one over here like this so that I can do a side by side trans uh, comparison. And I'm just going to say maybe instead of 70, I'm going to push it back to 50 and I'm going to say form factor on one. So if you look at the highlight difference, so you'll see that this one, you see a little bit of break between these two, but this one is a lot softer. So as you can see, even though the fillet size might seem similar. So if I were to, uh, let's group everything. I'm just going to snap it over here. So if you look at the center section, you'll see that they are actually very, very similar. But because it has a little bit more room for trans uh, transition, you will see that um, the other one, you don't see a break over here and here. So if uh, now I usually prefer just keeping a form factor one just for simplicity. But if you see this and if the designer says, hey, can we make this a little bit smoother now um, using a form factor 0.5 or even using G3 curvature uh, fillet, that is going to help it. And it's going to have uh, give you guys a little bit better transition over here. All right, so that looks good. So let's go ahead and delete the construction history. Of course, I do need to take care of this one. So let's go ahead and do that too. Now, obviously this one is going to be, uh, I'm going to go over that with a fillet. So you could probably just leave it as is. But this one on the other hand, because I made it with a freeform blend, it does need to uh, make sure that it's curvature. So I'm just going to untrim all this. And I'm just going to delete the, not delete, but I'm just going to turn off the symmetry over here. So if you look at the piece just by itself, you'll see that it's like this. So let's go ahead and use the existing surface edges like that. And instead of Z, I'm going to say either X view or normal. So for this one, I think X should be fine. And let's go ahead and trim it. And let's just make sure that it's actually curvature. So it looks like it's not curvature. So let's find out why. So I'm just going to turn on show max stable, show comb. Like this. Okay. So it looks like there is a little bit of curvature deviation in. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's exactly 1.0. That could be an issue. Now, if the highlight's fine, um, I think it's totally okay to just leave it as is, is uh, at least um, making sure that it's tangent, but if you prefer to fix this, let's see if I can. So I'm just going to grab a line and I'm just going to align it over here, position influence to max. Okay. So it looks like it still doesn't really solve the 1.0. Now, usually if it's exactly 1.0, that's you, uh, the curvature deviation checker that's causing the problem. So it looks like it solved it here, but really didn't solve it over here. All right. So if that's a case, there are a couple of other things you could do. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim convert this piece over here. So I'm just going to trim convert it. This one here, this one here, and I'm just going to retain those. But uh, these originals, I'm going to go ahead and hide it. So let's go ahead and pick this one. Uh, pick this one and let's go ahead and put in a new layer and I'm going to just label the hide. Okay, so with the trim converted surface, it's going to be a lot more precise. And because it is an exact edge, it should help as well. 
Now for this one, position influence, uh, because it's uh, messing with the CV structure, I think I'm just going to leave it and I'm just going to align it over here, making sure that this one is actually curvature. And now I'm just going to say revert over here and I'm going to revert over here like this. And using this fillet, I'm going to align it to the trim converted edge. And that should make things a little bit better. So right now the continue checker for some reason is not appearing. There we go. And that's curvature like this. And because everything is a lot cleaner than just doing a surface fillet, this one, there it is, it's curvature as well. So I, uh, I mean, I prefer to keep everything, uh, the theoreticals, but for continuity's sake, uh, sometimes doing a trim converted surface works a lot better. Okay, so let's go ahead and just finish this one on the top. So obviously there's a little bit of gap. Now the filler could be big enough, but just in case, I'm just going to go ahead and reproject all of these lines over here like this. So I'm just going to project it from X and I'm going to trim it over here. That's nice and clean. So now let's go ahead and add the small fillets. So all of these surfaces have a small fillet running all the way through. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab surface fillet. I think uh, G2 existing theoretical, G2 is good. Coral length, I'm going to make this a lot smaller though. Uh, form factor for these smaller ones, I definitely would prefer to keep it at one. So let's go ahead and put one over here. Now let's see if that's, uh, I would say probably uh, slightly bigger maybe. I'm just going to turn the symmetry on. Yeah, I think it could be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to say maybe 13 for this one. I think that's pretty good. I think this one is a little bit bigger than this one. So I'll probably do 15 or even 20. So maybe I'll try 20. Okay, so existing theoretical works nicely. Uh, there's a span, so let's see if Bezier does anything. Nope. Okay, that's okay. So I'm just going to, for this one, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so nice transition there. Maybe that's a little bit too big. So maybe instead of 20, maybe I'll just do something like 17. I think that's a little bit more appropriate, like that. And let's go ahead and put this one in. So that's going to be, now this one does seem a little bit tighter, more in line with this one. So I'm going to say, I think I did 13 for the bottom one, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to keep it at that. So that looks nice. And of course I need one on the top. Now this one is probably a minimum radius, um, but uh, just for this one, let's just keep it at, I don't know, maybe something like 10 and just call it done. Okay, so let's take a look. So I think that looks really nice, really capture all the surfaces, all the features, the, uh, the highlight flow is nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So all you have to do is maybe put some labels in, some logo, RAM, Rebel, 4x4, and that'll be it. All right, so that is it for how to make the RAM tailgate. Thank you guys for watching and See you in the next lesson. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and digital sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.